guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna break down Audio Slave, Show Me How to Live. It's a great song, killer riff, uh, riffs. Uh, also, I appreciate you subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel. Uh, it's the only thing I do, and I appreciate you supporting it. Got links down there as well. Let's break it down. All right, drop D tuning. And then we're gonna start with a D power chord up to an E power chord. And the voicing we're gonna use is the uh, open A, D, and second fret G for that D power chord. And then cover the thickest three strings for the E power chord. So. Notice uh, our good friend, the Chicky Chicky, has made an appearance. My hand goes like that. Chicky Chicky, right there. Um, so drop D. That gives us an E power chord when we do that. We're hammering on open to second fret of that now D string. And then the A string, D string. And then with those syncopated uh, chicky wawas like that and then I'm doing that between the 7 and the 8 and it's a power chord, but you know, focus on that thickest D string. And then after you do that, you know, there's another chuck. Constantly chucking, you switch to your pinky on that seventh fret power chord. So because you're gonna go seven to the two, those power chords. Like that. So so we go and then you're going to hit that a second time to fifth fret and then open so and then it doesn't complete and rests. Starts over. And then it just becomes more muted for the verse, right? So quiet and muted, more palm muted. Keep going. We're building, we're building. And then, uh, sorry, I screwed up there for a second because I was going to tell you what it does next. It does. Does some more chicky chickies. So 
So power chord, second fret to fifth fret, and then O two O. from five to seven on that A string. So two, five, oh, two, oh, two, oh, seven on that A string. And after you hit that, you go right back to that open D again. So you've got the intro, then the riff, the quiet version for the verse, and then the chorus riff. solo, or if you want to call it that, it's like a tonal texture. He's using a some kind of tremolo and some modulation effects. I, I'm not sure what he's doing there, but the note is an E octave over that little, they just kind of do this little bridge with him doing that kind of thing. Um, and then it just goes through all those parts again. So that'll get you through it. So I hope you have fun. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again for the continued support. Hope to see you again real soon. Take care.